Hey, what's up guys? I'm Joel and today I'm going to show you guys a really exciting tutorial on how to use Martin's MVC control software with any uh, USB DMX interface. Now, today I'm going to be using the UDMX interface for this tutorial. Um, and you can get these for really inexpensive online, uh, which is really a great deal. But really, this should work with any USB DMX interface that's control uh, that's supported by Freestyler. Now, Freestyler is another uh, free DMX software for controlling lighting. Um, but the thing about Freestyler is that it actually has an Artnet to DMX uh, converter that we're going to be using to act, uh, in actually in conjunction with MPC. Um, and so, if you have one of these interfaces uh, right here on the DMX page where it says uh, supported interfaces, this really should work for you. Um, and actually, I don't think this is actually the entire list. Um, so if you have others, you can always try this just to see if it works. So what, what you're going to want to do is download the uh, latest release of Freestyler right here. I'll put the link in the description below. Um, then you can install this. Uh, actually, I would save it. And then so once you save it, go into the folder. And then you're going to right click and run as administrator. Uh, all right, and then we can click yes, and then it'll say welcome to the Freestyler setup wizard. Now I already have Freestyler installed, but I'll just walk you guys through this just so um, you guys know what to do. So you're gonna wanna uh, click next, accept the agreement. I've read that, don't worry. Um, and then you can install it. I probably just stick with the uh, C Freestyler folder. If you wanna install it in the programs file directory, um, go straight ahead, just browse to it, and then click next. And then what you're gonna, gonna wanna check is if you're planning on just using MPC, then you can leave all these other ones unchecked. Um, so like I wouldn't do the free standalone, but you are going to want to do the R next to DMX converter since this is what we're going to be using. So you're going to click that and then click next and then uh, it'll you can create a shortcut. And then right here where it says select additional tasks, you can really uncheck all of these since you're not going to want to um, use these. And then uh, that should be it. You can click next and then you can go ahead and install it. This will probably install the actual Freestyler Lighting Control program along with it. Um, but really all you need is the RNet to DMX converter. All right, so I'll just cancel out of that because like I said, I already have that installed, but that's what you're going to want to do. Next, you're going to want, uh, you're going to want to install the Martin's MPC software. If you, uh, I'll put the link in this, uh, for this in the description below, but otherwise you can go to the Martin website and you can, uh, download the software, download, and then, uh, you can run the, uh, install file. Like I said, I've already installed this as well, so we can actually now just close out of Internet Explorer or Chrome or whatever you're using. All right, so next what we're going to want to do is go to your Start menu, go to Control Panel, and then go into Device Manager. Now, when it loads, uh, select your computer or whatever you're using and go up to Action, Add Legacy Hardware. Click Next, and then we're going to do Install the Hardware that I, uh, that I manually select from a list. Next, scroll down, and we're going to install a network adapter. Um, and then it'll uh, populate a list here, and you're going to go Manufacturer Microsoft. Scroll down, and we're going to do the Microsoft Loopback Adapter. Now, what the Loopback Adapter does is um, it basically lets the computer have a, like a virtual uh, network interface for MPC to use to send the DMX basically inside the um so send the RNet, I'm sorry, inside the computer to the RNet to DMX uh, program, which is then going to convert it to use with our interface. So, um, and this is completely safe and it takes a very little memory, especially since the drivers are already installed on the computer. So hardware to install, the loopback, and then we're going to click next, and it'll go ahead and install it. All right, so to close this winner, uh, wizard, click finish. So we can finish out there, and then we can close out of the control panel and everything else. All right, so next what we're, what we're going to want to do is go into the um, go down to your taskbar and then go into the network and sharing center. And then right here where you can see the local area connection 2, this is the uh, Microsoft loopback adapter that we just installed, the virtual one. So if you go to connections, click on that. Then go down on properties. You do need administrator permission for this. Um, just keep that in mind. And then right here where it says Internet Protocol version 4, this is where we're going to be able to change the IP address. So right here where it says um, use the following IP address, we're going to set this to a static IP um, to use with Artnet. Now Artnet, uh, I think, can be used with all uh, IP addresses, but it definitely likes to be used with um, IP addresses starting with 2 or 10. Um, and it just, it just seems to work better when you use that. So I'll just be using 2 today, so I'll just do 2, uh, 100, 101. I would do that, I, I tried putting zeros in here and it gave me an error, but it might just be something on my computer. 
And then with the subnet mask, it should automatically put in 255.0.0.0. And then uh, that's all we need to do. Make sure that this isn't uh, selected because since we're kind of doing this manually, sometimes it will give us an error. So you can click OK, OK, and then you can close out of the network and sharing center. All right, so the next thing we want to do is go to the start menu, um, or however you want to do this, and we're going to launch the Artnet to DMX uh, software under Freestyler. So if you go to all programs, Freestyler, Artnet to DMX. We're going to click on this. All right, so then this will load up. What you're going to want to do is go to interface setup and select whichever setup you have uh, for your interface. Uh, so like if you have like the Parsec or whatever, you can select that. I have, like I said, I have the UDMX. So I'll click that and save. All right. And then right here where it says network adapter, if you're using, if your computer is connected to more than one network, you're going to want to make sure you have the one um, that has the correct IP address. So this is the one I just put in, which is correct. Uh, you're going to want the 2.100.1, uh, 100.1, I'm sorry. Um, but then otherwise, if you're actually using this on another adapter, like uh, my local internet access right here is 192.168.104, then you could click on that. But otherwise, uh, make sure the network adapter selected, and then we're going to restart the Rnet to DMX software, since sometimes um, if you change any of these settings, they won't take, it, uh, they won't take place until uh, the next boot up. So we can do file exit. Don't click the X, otherwise it won't actually close. It'll just minimize it to the taskbar. And then we're going to uh, the start menu, all programs, Freestyler, Rnet to DMX, and relaunch it. All right, and now that should be open. You're going to want to make sure that you open this before the MPC, MPC software, um, so that because sometimes with the port that uh, Rnet uses, uh, the receiver, I guess, has to be open first. So we've done that. That looks all good. And we can close out. So click the X. Next, what we're going to want to do is uh, go into the start menu and launch the MPC software. So if we go to Martin MP, um, M series or wherever you have the stored, and launch the uh, MPC. Now, I've already set this up halfway uh, with some of my fixtures. I have a bunch of LED fixtures, uh, but I haven't actually made the, pro the fixture, fixture profiles with them. So uh, I just have some uh, DMX channel, like intensity channels uh, configured. But you're going to want to make sure that you have some fixtures patched into the software before you go setting up the Artnet. Otherwise, um, it won't work. All right, so MPC will load. Always takes a while in mind. And we can, and you can click New Show and then Patch. But I already have, like I said, I already have my own patch set up. So we're going to go to Continue Show. All right, and this will load up. <laughs> my computer is always a bit slow. Sorry about that, guys. All right, and next, it'll load up. And we're going to go to the menu right here. So click up where it says MPC in the arrow. Click Menu. All right, so next we're going to go down to the sidebar where it says network. And then down here at the bottom, you're going to want to click on interfaces. Now, uh, we are using the local area connection too, and you're going to want to make sure that has correct IP address that we just uh, entered. You can always check that. So mine is 2100.100.1. Sounds good. Click on that. And then right down here on the pane, um, you can click apply, and that'll do it. All right, so the next, in order to finish setting up the Artnet to go into the uh, control program, you can go down to Ether DMX, and then you can see that it's actually already detecting the uh, fr uh, Freestyler to DMX, uh, Artnet to DMX in a uh, program, which is great. Um, I, but then, just in case it's not doing that, wh what you're going to want to do is go to Artnet and then turn on the Artnet right here, and then you're going to click Apply. All right, and then so now Artnet should actually be enabled, and it should start outputting our net. So now when you go to your devices, uh, you can click on that again, and that should be it. So now we can close out of the menu. And now when you go down to the fixture center, um, and you select all your fixtures, I'll just select them all, just, the, um, just for the heck of it. Right now I have set up um, an LED fixture right here. It's getting a little warm. Um, but then right here, you can turn up the intensity, and you can kind of see that now I'm controlling it. Well, I was. <laughs> oh, there you go. It's kind of jank, uh, jolting out, but this is just the fixture that I have. Um, it's overheating, I think, right now. But uh, otherwise, with any other fixture, this should work great. So you can kind of see, just by using the intensity, I've got a little bit of control. All right, so tell me, uh, I don't know, leave uh, any questions or anything like that down in the comments below. Uh, tell me if you guys have any trouble. I might have just completely uh, missed something. This is one of my first tutorials, and I'll be doing hopefully a lot, uh, a lot more products and stuff like this in the future. So like if you uh, like what I'm doing here, 
Um, I'm starting to kind of get into DJing, uh, lighting and stuff like that. I do some IT work. Um, I don't know, sometimes I just make random videos. I like doing videography uh, products like that. So please subscribe to me, um, basically. Uh, and then like the video, leave a comment. Um, and then please don't hesitate um, to give to, to critique or ask any questions. All right, hey, thanks so much, guys, and uh, have a nice rest of your day. See ya.